I don't even know if it's, oh, it is, it's not bad. The Corbin sucks. <laughs> All right. <laughs>Back to our stupid reactions again. It's some Corbin. Uh, you can follow some Instagram, Instagram Twitter, Twitter. It's so juicy content. It's so juicy. Follow some person on YouTube channel. Link in the description below. Yep. Today we take a little break from our uh, classic month. Yeah. Uh, just we told you it might happen. Yeah. Uh, if something new drops, we would do that. So yep. uh, we we do have other classic films to get to before this month ends. So yep. we'll be getting to those. So don't yep. worry. Yep. It's just a little break yep. for the new film that dropped on Amazon, Trishium Dost. Yes. Uh, and the, uh, not to be confused with Dost. Uh, <laughs> True. Um, it's the Malayalam, which we have yet to see the original first one. But for those of you been around, we did see the original Hindi. I asked the team, I said, is there a reason to watch the first one outside of just watching it? Is it any different in terms of story than the Hindi? You might say it's a better version, but is there any other information that we'd be missing? They said no. Right. They said no, so we, we could watch just jump in. This one. Which made us get to the review sooner. Yes. Yeah. I forgot my computer. <laughs> <laughs> well, in the meantime... What's funny is I, I didn't realize it too. Corbin forgets stuff like the pewter. Like the pewter? Yeah. All right. Your pewter. That's what happens after you have all those beans. Anyways. Uh, yes. Drishium 2. Uh, it's a gripping tale of the investigation of the whole family, uh, which is threatened by it. Uh, yeah. You know what else Basically, is it follows the story of the first one. What happened after... Uh... I know, you could first spoil one. it. But you, uh, could, you could, I mean, you said it's a gripping tale. Spider monkeys have gripping tales. That's true. Yeah. Uh, but it takes place six years after the events yeah. of the last one. We kind of can't go through this without spoiling without... it. So if you want to yeah, yeah. watch it, don't be spoiled. Go watch it. It's on Amazon. It's free watch if you have a membership. It. Well, we don't have to, we don't have to spoil it. I'm just saying you can't really talk about this without knowing. Yeah. We'll try our best. Regardless. Obviously starring Mohan and directed by uh, Jisoo Joseph, written by Jisoo Joseph, uh, and uh, a whole bunch of other people as well. So, Rick, your initial thoughts, please. Stupid babies. You know I love you. And I, I just, I will never lie to you. And I will, I'm about to anger a lot of you, and I'm very, very sorry, but I, I would rather be honest with you and us. Love each other, and then you'd be mad at me, and love I didn't like. Yeah, I didn't either. Uh, <laughs> and uh, before we get into it, uh, and uh, a bunch of comments say, don't watch Malayalam films you don't understand. This is our 11th. We've loved 10 of them. So, <laughs> regardless, uh, I will go over uh, what I did enjoy, but there was more I did not enjoy than I enjoyed. Uh, I thought whenever you eventually got there, um, it was, I guess, seemingly interesting. <laughs> um, what they, the, the, the little twists and turns, kind of like at the last one. Uh, Mohano, I thought, did a, 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 a fine job. He didn't really have a ton to work with, uh, I think, but he obviously, he didn't put in a bad performance. Um, I did really enjoy the tea shop worker. I thought he do, did really well. I thought... Uh, <laughs> So, okay, but that's the takeaway for Corbin. Hey, what'd you think of Drishim 2? I, I really liked the tea shop worker. So, here's, here's the thing. Uh, and if you, if you only like reviews that, that praise what you, you, you also like, you came to the wrong place. Uh, we're not just gonna do that. And I feel like, it, you might be new here because it's a new film and you might think we don't know anything. We've seen m almost 200 Indian films, uh, 11 Malayalam, and all of 
previous to this one I loved and I thought were Summer's high artistry, including yeah. the one that came out this year that I think is the best film of the year so far, which is The Great Indian Kitchen. Yeah. Um, I thought the biggest issue with this film, Oops, uh, that I think if they would have gotten rid of it, it could have been a thousand times better. It was the melodramatic soap opera style of filming and editing. Um, and I just, I couldn't get past that. I hate that. I hate soap operas. And if you don't know what we're talking about, if you've never seen a soap opera, it's overemphasizing people's reactions. If something dramatic happens, you zoom in on every single person in the room for some reason that, that, that helps us, even though we, we, we know when to be shocked because your story is telling us when to be shocked. And so I think if they would have eliminated that and just made it a simple shots and stuff like that, I think it could have been a thousand percent better of a film. Because I actually don't think it's actually, there was some acting, of course, um, but I actually don't think that was the main problem. I don't know if you agree. But I think it was actually mostly the overdramatic editing and score. Uh, but behind it, that for some reason they were going, I don't know if that's how the first one was, but they were making it very, very melodramatic. And I hate that. I hate it. <laughs> just consider us Penn and Teller right now, guys. Yeah. It, I'm just nodding in agreement with my partner here. I just, I, I, and I, I, we don't enjoy doing reviews of films that I've only actually heard praise for. No, uh, I mean, everything we watch, we go in wanting it. It's like... Why would you want a movie you're watching to, to be bad or you don't enjoy it? Mm -hmm. Every film I ever watch, I'm rooting for it to be good. I'm looking for ways to praise it. I'm even asking myself, where am I imposing certain things on it I ought not be imposing? And yeah. Is that, is that I a hundred, well, yeah, that's, all that and more. Well, I know, no, there's more, but I'm yeah. saying, the, I'm saying the biggest issue, if like, if they would have taken this issue out, it would have been a C plus film. Yeah. If, if the soap opera melodrama in every way, shape and form, score, editing, lighting, direction of the actors, uh, everything, it just, it, it was a soap opera. Mm -hmm. Um, if, if, it, if that had been changed, yeah. that would have that dramatically would have solved half of the yeah. problem I had yeah, with yeah, it. Yeah, the yeah. other half of the problem I had with it was uh, uh, as much as there wasn't anything in the acting that was anything that I found grippingly wonderful. Yeah, the tea shop worker. It, the tea shop. <laughs> yeah, there there wasn't anything where I I was like, for me after the the soap opera, there are so many things about the story I had, I just it's beyond both in expository writing that is just. And I know many of you will probably put in the comments, well, oh yeah, well, Drishium was the biggest box office success in Malayalam history. <laughs> Doesn't mean a thing with the artistry. So was Phantom Menace. <clears throat> and that's a piece of crap. And I'm not saying this is a piece of crap. I'm just saying the Phantom Menace was a piece of crap. Yeah. And it did box office. What I am saying is the... It was annoyingly expository in this way. Yeah. Anytime a character has this happen, have you heard? Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> we should be shown that, not told it. Yeah. Uh, it's just a basic script writing 101. Yeah. So by the thing. time, by the time we actually got to the big reveal, which was strained credulity for me. Very, yeah, and I understand that they said it in the film, you know, a hero, it's a film, the he and that's what they were going and for. And yes, heroes. I think this is better than Phantom Menace. Yeah. <laughs> if Phantom Menace was on and this was on, I would be not a happy man and I would watch this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, if um, by the time we actually got to the big reveal, right, at the end, I was already so annoyed. I was like, okay, cool, uh, I guess. Yeah. Uh, and, and there was holes in that that I was like, Okay, I guess these police officers are complete and utter shit, and there's no cameras in the uh, police police station where they're holding evidence. Or, and I guess he's the only one with a video camera in the entire village. Well, and I was <laughs> I was even thinking to myself, okay, is this one of those things where like we've learned about the judicial system where there's no jury trials and things that we were wondering about with getting evidence and handcuffing people? We've had those questions, yeah. right? I just this this was like okay. Well, I do know that like obviously when he when he. Um, Confess to the police officer, right? Right. But once again, that's not admissible. Remember, we learned that in, in right. Death Crimes. You, right. You have to have a, I think it's a magistrate, right? 
present if for a, a, a quote to be right. uh, admissible. Admissible. So obviously he could change his... He could, uh, and did. Yes, obviously, and did uh, the, the, his story uh, to make it... And I also think they dragged it out. Obviously, I think it could have been two hours long, max. And there was a bunch of information that I understand they, they did it to show, you know, what he was doing and planning and all that kind of stuff. But it could have been much more brief. And uh, this, this film should have been an hour and a half to two hours max. Yeah. And it also doesn't help that we're watching this after I'm in the thick of watching some of the best cinema on the planet right now from all over the world. And, that, and by comparison, have come out of seeing things that are in the running for all of the awards internationally uh, from France and from Spain and from Russia and from Chile and from... Uh, I, I, this was just really, really hard in that regard. And I found it really... Um, even at the end, I don't understand why the parents felt it was a greater punishment for him to live freely with guilt than it would be for him to pay for his crimes because he gave them the DNA. He gave them the dead body at the end. Um, well, I think it was cremated at that time. Yeah, but still. Well, I don't think you can get DNA off of cremation. Well, no, but you, I mean, here's the remains. Uh, he's admitting it again, and there's the, the cop again. But he could just say that's not his. That's what. Yeah, I understand. There's just straight mud. There was a lot of strained credulity. Uh, yeah, strained credulity. <laughs> um, in the whole climax, and I understand they explained that that so the hero needs a bit of luck. They were, but I didn't really like that whole thing. That this whole thing was a film, and so we didn't like it. I don't. Once again, I don't like doing these reviews Me in too. terms of ones that I just I don't like the film, especially and especially when all of you love it, like that airplane movie, the Tamil film that we right, hated. Right. And I understand this will probably get more dislikes than likes. I oh, get it. There will be people who just love him, and they will be very angry that we don't get it. Yeah. Okay. I, I've I've loved every other Malayalam. I think we, we've had Gumbadal G Nights might be the best uh, Indian film I've ever seen. Uh, <laughs> like every other. Uh, well, and didn't we see? the other one with him and we liked him yeah we've seen one other film of we've his we've seen one other film it's and we liked it. the makeup the, the, the god he did really really the well the face dancing and we that was our favorite thing about the film was him and it, he didn't do anything I agree with you he, he, didn't, he didn't do anything bad no. but it was just I didn't feel like there was much for him in the script to go with anywhere necessarily he just he did what was asked of him to do on the page yeah I felt so uh, once again, I could I could harp on a lot of this film, and I just I don't want to. You you probably already switched it off, so yeah. Uh, that's and, what we thought about it, and, and we're gonna be honest. And very you know, it's very uh, want to be honest and get aggravated about things, especially when there's 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 things that are blaring for you. But I also know filmmakers to t they don't go out of their way and wake up and go, hey, let's show up to set today and make a bad movie. Let's just do everything we can. And from script to the end of it, let's just do that. Everybody's out to try and do their best and do whatever they can to do what they're going to do. And it, for me, like you, it, this one just didn't flip the boat by any stretch of the imagination. But once again, we love Malayalam. We, we do. We want to uh, see more In fact, more stuff. before we were watching this, we were going to watch a classic Malayalam, and we still might. Uh, and I believe it had Mohanal in it. Um, but uh, let us know what's the next uh, Malayalam uh, cinema we should watch. Let us know why we're idiots. idiots yeah, I'm sure you will. The hatred's uh, coming. <laughs> and unsubscribe if you want. Yep. Don't care. Yeah. Uh, let us know uh, down below. <laughs>